For a subperiosteal mattress suture, our first bite is going to be deep to the flap on the buckle, just engaging the periosteum. So we're not coming out the buckle flap, and often we're deeper than the vestibule, unlike this model. Okay. So the first bite, often with Castro Viejos, um, is going to be parallel to the bone. So we're just biting periosteum, turning our wrist, coming back out. And we'll get rid of some of the slack. And then the next bite is in and back, uh, out and back into the palate. So here we're taking a bite out of the lingual and back in. So we're gonna have a loop similar to a mattress on the lingual. And this is really useful for cases where we have you know, bone and membranes here, and we're helping to strap that down. So to tie it off, tie off like a simple knot like you normally would. And this suture, besides that little loop on the palate, ends up being completely underneath the flap. So now we have a mattress that, if there was a membrane underneath it, would be strapped along the bone. That's the subperiosteal mattress.